Hello everyone, and today we have a Williams WPC89 CPU board to look at. So uh, the problem is it's got a lot of switch input problems. We'll fire it up. We've got the Logic probe connected and the Pulsar probe. Let's just get this right. So if we look at our column drives. Activity, 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 activity. Yep, yep, yep. And yeah, okay, so our column drives at least appear to be working. Um, and we've got our rows. It's high, high, high. Okay, so at least on the uh, input side, those all appear to be okay. Um, got my schematics handy, looking at the input section. So we've got the IC 1313 here. Uh, excuse me while I work out what we've got. Right, it's pin 2. Pin 2 is low. That shouldn't be low, I don't think. I think it's supposed to be high and then go low when the input is activated. Uh, 4. Right, that one's low. 6 is low. Let's uh, say high. It's all rubbish. 8 is also high. 11 is high. 13 is nothing. That one's floating. That's also faulty. 15 is high. 17 is high. Okay, so we've got two there at least that need some attention. So basically we've got switches and diodes and comparators between this IC to the fault and the light in this area here somewhere. Right, so we've pulled that IC and we've stuck a socket in. Now let's check it out again. So pin 2, which was previously low, is now floating. So we probably did have a problem with that IC, it was pulling that one low. However, we also seem to have a problem with the resistor that pulls the signal high, as if we check part thing we're doing, 2, 3, 4. So 4 is high, and 2 is floating. So, yes, yeah, there's a plot resistor somewhere, so I'll just check the schematics and find where that is, and we'll replace that. Right, I'll just quickly show you, I found the resistor, it's actually in the corrosion zone, so that could have been a part of the problem. Um, let's see how I can get my fingers in. Right, so, that's high, it's hard to see with the lamp on. That's high, and the other side is floating, so high, floating, so that resistor is open. So I need to replace that. Right, so new resistor fitted, and we'll check it out again. So it's pin 2. Pin 2 is now high, so that is working the plot resistor. So we'll just check the rest. So we've done the first side, so we do 11, that's high. 13 is floating. Okay, so we need to check the plot resistor for pin 13. Let's just check the others first. 15 is high, and 17 is high, so it's just uh, just one on pin 13. Let's check that once more. Oh, wrong one. 11. Long chip now. <laughs> yeah, so that was floating, so we've got to sort that one out. Right, that's the second resist replaced, and let's just check that out. So pin 13 is now high. Marvellous. So we'll put in a new 339 and see if it works, or we might have to do a bit more work around this area here. Right, the new 339 is in, uh, and I've been testing the switch rows uh, and testing the outputs at uh, IC13. Um, all the outputs, oh, sorry, all the all the inputs to 13 are now fixed apart from pin 2. Pin 2 is being pulled low again by this IC which means that the two inputs on the comparator there's going to be something wrong with one of the signals. I suspect we're going to have a, a dead resistor or diode over here so we're going to check those out now. Okay we've fixed that problem now so pin 2 is now high and I'll just turn the power off. And basically what it was, this IC here, there's a little track that connects uh, pin 8 and 10 to VCC. And that little track had been damaged by the corrosion, so we've put a tiny little jumper wire on there. And I'm just going to clean this up with some flux off. And, I mean, on the bench the inputs are looking good, so what we're going to do is going to test this in the machine and check that they're actually working properly. But I think that should be the repair done, hopefully. Okay, so we've got the board into my brighter pin bot. I've swapped the ROM and we'll give it a try. Let's give it its fire up. Mm. 
Oh, take day, day and time not set, that's normal after factory restore. Um, let's stick it in switch test. And we'll just go and check everything's working. Can't reach half of these. We're just making sure as well that it's actually triggering the correct switch and that there's no shorts and you know it's not firing the wrong ones. And so far, it's all looking good. We'll try. It's not a great game actually for testing switches. There's quite a few that are hard to get to, but we can do it anyway. Now, what else have we got? New right exit. Right run made. Done that one. Do the sling. Yep. Um, yeah, some of these are a bit too difficult to get in. I think that's certainly enough anyway to test that it's working. Uh, I'll just give it a quick play test as well, but that's a uh, job done.